Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum vs. SmackDown. This is from December 10th, 2021. Um, was it better than last week's horrendous show? Yes. Was it a good show? No. Um, it had its moments, though. They're definitely milking the teat of the things that are working, namely the chemistry between Sami Zayn and Brock Lesnar, what that's going to amount to. Um it doesn't look like much, but it is what it is. So we got Raw Tag Champions, Randy Orton and Riddle. They're going to make a rare Friday night appearance. They're going to battle the Usos and uh, New Day um, in a blockbuster triple threat tag match. So that was definitely good. And um, and then Sonya Deville against Naomi, which they've been building up for quite some time. That is also going to be really, really great. Um, let's take a look at it. So we're leading with the positives, but... Uh, and we're leading with the the hot hand they got right now. Sami Zayn um, talking, and then Heyman and Brock Lesnar interrupt. Sami Zayn in a wheelchair, neck brace, and um, uh, an orderly who looks suspiciously like a wrestler. So you probably know um, where this is going to go. Brock Lesnar whoops that dude a la Scott Steiner. It felt very reckless the way he threw him out of the ring, but it is what it is, and then destroys uh, Sami Zayn. So um, entertainment at the very least, so that's good. Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs, oh boy, against Los Lotharios, and uh, and um, Xavier Woods getting that new crown, which is utterly ridiculous. It was pretty awesome. But the match um, between uh, the Lotharios and Nakamura and Boogs was 1 minute 38 seconds. I mean, it's, it's garbage. It's garbage. Um... It was as good as, or I mean, it was as bad as the uh, Woods getting his crown thing was funny. Um, it was not good. Man, the show. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. So Drew McIntyre stuck that sword. Uh, was that the Loch Ness Monster Tooth sword that's named Angela? Whatever. Stuck the sword in Adam Pierce's desk. Um, it was what it was. McIntyre and Sheamus deliver their usual hard-hitting Really great match. Um, what can you say? It's really good. And there's a reason that they make sure those guys are always on the brand with each other. Because when in doubt, they can always pull that out. Naomi and Sonya Deville. Um, and we had the debut of Zia Lee in the next segment. So at the end of the day, um, Naomi's taken the fight, right? Um, so... Sonia Deville is definitely trying to stack the deck. We got Natalia is the special guest ring announcer, and Shayna Baszler is the timekeeper. So Naomi takes the fight to Baszler and rocks Natalia, and uh, Deville's st stalling, but then Zia, Zia Lee makes her debut with a really cool looking entrance, I gotta say. I really liked it. Um, came face to face with Naomi. But then they went after the heels, clearing the ring of Baszler and Natalia. And then DeVille endured that wrath. Lee flattened her. Naomi set her up for the moonsault. Uh, but then the cronies rescued DeVille. Um, it was really great. It was a great way to bring Xia Lee in. If they brought Xia Lee in as the evil mercenary assassin type, I don't think it would have been as effective. Instead, they've kind of made themselves a babyface star. It was really, really great. Um, I just, again, this show is just such highs and such lows. And uh, that was a high, and now we have Tony Storm against Charlotte Flair. Um, Storm defeats Flair by disqualification, and then Flair beats the shit out of her afterwards. This is fucking garbage. It should have been, this is just not a great feud. They've pushed it very badly, and it is what it is. It's awful. Triple threat tag match uh, was pretty damn good, and it was great to see um, New Day scoring the win here on the Usos, most notably. Um, so there it is. It was pretty long, but they, uh, definitely worked that crowd and, um, yeah. So it wasn't as, didn't go over as much with that live crowd as they probably wanted, but that's to be expected. I got to say the SmackDown definitely showed improvements. But, man, the bad is awfully bad. You can smell the raw seeping in. And that's not 